Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Dream Chasers career mode on Fever 23. We're in season six. If you missed the last episode, we started season six and we made some big moves and talked about a lot of things. There was no gameplay in that first episode, but I still recommend going back and checking that out if you haven't seen it already because we pretty much set up my thoughts and, and all the stuff we're going to get into this season. Uh, there was a lot to discuss and I feel like even though we spoke about a lot of things, we didn't really do much and didn't really make any decisions or or come to any answers with the questions that we did ask but at the same time i appreciate everyone's support and all the comments that we went through in the last episode keep dropping your comments to help through this uh, july slash august transfer window i don't think we're going to go crazy with the signings because i've been going through off camera now just going through the squad trying to work out what formation to play this season and what personnel to use this season you can see on the screen there right now liverpool and dream chasers in albert talks and um, let's pull that up again here he is brand new signing from the last episode 91 rated center forward basile albert yeah this guy stats are off the charts this is kareem benzema's regen absolutely insane player and i cannot wait to use this guy in game so this was an unexpected signing um well i did expect to sign this guy i was going to sign him regardless of whatever because i had benzema on the transfer list i was waiting for him to retire but i just did not know he would be 91 rated I didn't know he would come straight into the team this is how i've got the team set up at the moment we have wilk up front barbosa in center forward um who is on a minus two because he doesn't like to play in center forward Vilk can actually play there, so we should try Vilk in the centre forward and Barbosa up top. I think that's made the decision there on that. Albert, I've moved to the right wing, boys, and he doesn't get a minus. Like, look at his stats. 96 pace, 94 dribbling, decent enough passing, uh, and we are actually training him. Uh, well, I was going to train Albert as a right mid slash right winger. Uh, by the way, before we get into this, I've jumped straight into the episode today, but like uh, the video, please, because we're in season six now. Can we aim for 60 likes again, like the last video? Uh, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is, is in Albert's stat sheets, because he is 91 overall, I didn't think he would have much more room to, to grow or train us and do anything. Both in his development plan, boys. You see, they were training him as a playmaker forward to try and boost his weak foot to four star. That's my priority at the minute with this guy. But also on this training plan, it boosts up his passing, which is nice to, uh, to come in from the wing, you know, to boost up his passing. He's got okay crossing, but 97 curve, which is great uh, in terms of his passing stats. To train him as a right mid, it would only take 15 weeks which isn't bad. It would boost up his defensive work rates, but still, we could move his position there. And the train was a right winger. Uh, it would only take two weeks. So this guy definitely suits us to play in on the wing uh, rather than down the middle like Karim Benzema. Uh, obviously, Benzema, a big, like six foot one Benzema, I think he was. This guy was only 5'11", a few inches shorter and a lot more agile seaman than Karim Benzema. So not exactly built like him, but um, yeah, still a great player. That's how we've got the squad lining up at the minute. Rudiger has jumped in at centre-back, as you can see as well. The centre-back situation is a tough one because now we have Rudiger in the team. I've put him in the starting 11 because he's 87 overall. We have Canales on the bench, who's still a great player. Then also in the reserves, we have Shinmeyer, who I've added to the loan list. We're going to loan out Shinmeyer for sure. Hopefully, he can go out somewhere and get some game time. Um, even though I did want to keep Shin at the club and play him as like our cup uh, in our cup team, you know? Play Canales and, and Meyer as our cup centre-back pairing. I don't know, boys. Let me know what we should do with Shin Meyer because... He has potential to be special, and I don't want him to lose that potential um, by sending him out on loan. People like Billy Keynes and Tommy Bailey, they came back and their potential had lowered, actually, since going out on loan. Uh, and as we can see with Shin Meyer in his development plan, we are training him heavy to boost his pace up, and that is what I want to focus on. I don't think that training plan applies if they go out on loan, and I really want Shin to boost his pace up, because then that will turn him into the player that we need him to be. This training plan, by the way, is amazing for centre-backs. Like, three arrows on both pace sections, short pass and reactions, stand and tackle, slide and tackle, head and stamina and strength. This I want to keep Shin on this training plan, but he probably won't get much game time this season, so do we loan him out? Should we not? I hope this episode we don't actually get any offers for him because I won't know what to do, whether to pull the trigger on that or not. But now we have a lot of centre-backs, boys. Van Dijk, Inacio, Rudiger. We've actually just been approached by Milan for uh, Inacio and we've counter-offered their offer. So we'll have to wait and see if they want to match what we've asked for. 125 mil I asked for. So that throws a real big spanner in the works if Inacio does, goes, uh, does go. But... The plan was for this season, there were two players I wanted to sign with Jude Bellingham and Gavardiol. So we'll wait and see what happens with Inacio. Then we'll probably go in for Gavardiol to get that main start and centre-back if Inacio does go. 
Jude Bellingham as well. If we have a Bellingham into our centre midfield, we've got Hashimoto and Rabija. I discussed this at the end of the last episode. Hashimoto and Rabija, I don't want to say goodbye to them or ruin their potentials either. Hashimoto, potential to be special, can go up to 90 plus. Then we've got De Bruyne on the bench. Where does De Bruyne play? Does I can't even speak. Does De Bruyne start over Hashimoto? I think the answer to that should be yes. But then Rabija, if we sign Bellingham, Bellingham will start over Rabija. And there's our two centre mids drop to the bench to get used in cup games. And that will ruin them for the, the league next season, I guess. Or do we just use De Bruyne in the cup games? I don't know. Juric as well. I've added him to the loan list because I've thought about this. Juric won't get much game time. But now that we're signing these other players. But just a lot to consider and a lot to think about. My head is all over the place this season, boys. I can't lie. Like, it is tough. But I think the best way to approach this situation is to stop thinking. Just stop thinking completely. Just adapt to whatever comes. We don't know who's going to come in uh, to, to try and loan people. The yeah, Inacio deal has broke down with Milan uh, because they thought the offer was too high. So yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the way forward is to stop thinking. Here's our report back on Aubameyang's regen. Wow, look at that. Another youth player in the free agents. 57 million value at only 82 overall. This is Aubameyang's regen. We're going to have to pick him up, aren't we? Just for the sake of the money, even. But then we've got another striker that we don't need. That's crazy, but we're going to have to do it. We can't let an opportunity like that pass. We've got an offer for Gabriel Guterres. That's a very nice offer from Santa Clara there. I'm going to accept that straight away. And another transfer offer for Gavardiol. And it comes from Real Madrid. They won him for 95 million. That's another attractive offer, but we will delegate it again to try and get... Um, 125 million for him. That's my price tag I'm putting on Anasio. I know Anasio has fans and stuff, but if we can get 125 million, I will not complain whatsoever. Hey, yo, wow, a big little like cutscene here for um, our new sign and Benzema's region. I've not seen this before with any player that we've signed to the club. This is a big one. This is a cameraman on one knee down over there. Is he proposing? Hella camera people in here. The whole squad has come to the gym to... What? What is going on? Cash money marks in the gym. At least he's not in his undies. That's normally what happens when we go to the gym. You see everyone in the undies. <laughs> but um, he's winked at the camera there. Albert. Why is cash money mark holding up a shirt like that? With the number 10 on. That's Morgan Elliott's number. Excuse me, guys. What are you doing? But this is dope though. I've not seen this before. Is this because he's like one of the world's best players, I guess? Or class, does he? Um... That was cool. That was cool. I'll give it to EA. But why has he got number 10, bro? That's disrespectful to Morgan Elliott. Hold on a sec. Yeah, Albert has took the number 10 shirt. What? What's Morgan Elliott got then? Morgan Elliott's been moved to 19. I'm sorry. But Morgan Elliott is the number 10. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, Albert is not going to be number 2. Like, But you're not going to be number 10 either. Because that is Elliott's shirt number. And I don't care if Elliott's not playing this season. And he's going to the reserves. Morgan Elliott, shout out to you for your dedication this season and stuff. And through the whole career mode. But it is time for Morgan Elliott to drop out of, the, of our plans now. Um, by the way. Just to get that out there. If everyone's wondering what happened to Elliott. He's out of the plans. But yeah, I'm sorry. That's not happening. Albert's not being number two, though. Yeah, I'm not having him as, as number two. Let me know what number we should make him um, in the comments. I know everyone's probably going to say <laughs> to make him number 10 or number nine, but that's not happening. Number 19. Yeah, I, I'm so, like, so all over the place. I'm sorry, boys. You know, this always happens at the start of a season. Leicester City have offered Yanis Lager plus Lager, Lager. Shout out millions. <laughs> I wonder why that sound familiar. The girl them say the lingo's matter. She said, hey, where did you get that grammar? Lager, 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 Lager. Um, let's see who he is. A 23-year-old striker, 79 overall, plus 27 mil. Yeah, I don't want him. Is that Slimani's regen? I definitely don't want that. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> Rejecting that straight away. Uh, Brennan Johnson, we could get at least 50 mil for, I reckon. Real Madrid have broke down negotiations with Gavardiol as well. They considered the initial demand too high. Not willing to renegotiate further. Okay, maybe we're pressing too much with that 125 mil. But yeah, I'm really just lost this, like, right now, boys, for what to do this season. Yeah, and hopefully you can help me out again in the comments. Everyone leaving comments does help a lot, even though a lot of people do contradict each other. Some people saying get Van Dyke, some people saying don't get Van Dyke. Um, I think what I just need to know this is this like, <laughs> at least see what I mean. I can't even talk. This is a mess. The centre back situation and the centre mid situation. Yeah, Morgan Lee staying on the left wing. Albert is our new right winger. Ono's going to go out on loan. Wilk and Barbosa down the middle. It's the two centre mids and the two centre backs. That's what I need help with. 
at centre back, we have Inacio, Rudiger, Van Dijk, Canales, Meyer. That's five people that we don't need five people for. Centre mids, we have Rabiger, Hashimoto, De Bruyne, but we're also looking to sign Jude Bellingham. So who plays where and when? That's the question. Yeah. At least I can put the question in normal English, whereas the rest of the video I've not been able to talk properly. Transfer offer for Edson Duarte. That's nice. Five mil from Burnley. I'll take that. We've got a transfer offer for Robin Chan as well. Robin Chan is going nowhere. 29.5 million. It'll take more than that to take Nico Robin away from this club. Yeah. Rejecting that offer there. Any One Piece fans watching, shout out to you. You know Nico Robin. I've just watched Eni's Lobby. Don't start me. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to FIFA. People don't know what I'm talking about. We've got like a, a tough group in the preseason here. Um, oh, they want to take Robin out on loan. That is potential. I'm going to leave that for now. That is a potential one to do because we might have the backup needed. Oh, Andreas. Olympic Leon are bidding 36 million for Andreas, and I'm not mad at that at all. I'm actually going to go ahead and accept that, I think, boys. 36 million for Andreas. In fact, should we be cheeky and try and push it to 40? Let's just do it. Let's try and push it to 40 because I know it's not that much different, but let's just try and get. If we're going to sell players, we may as well do it properly, yeah? 40 million we're asking for and robin going out on loan let's see because on the bench now is our backup strikers we have ono still here we have robin who can play down the middle um, and we have tommy bailey who obviously is on the wings jacobs i'm trying to sell billy kane's going out on loan ito i've put on the loan list johnson we're going to try and sell we need to make sure we just don't sell everyone <laughs> and we do keep at least some backups. Yeah, that's, that's key, um, especially for the, the cups because we're going to have so many cup games. We do need strikers still to be able to rotate and things like that. So I don't want to sell absolutely everyone, but we're going to sell the people that are necessary to sell. You get me? With that being said, boys, I think it might just be time to pull the trigger and get these big signings in that we're looking to get. Yeah, because I think it's time to stop playing around. Let's just do it. Gavardio, first man up, approach to buy. Let's go, because it takes a week anyway to reset if we fail these negotiations. So it'll be good to just get in here and try um, to, to get Cavardi all right now, yeah? I think one of the reasons why we signed these both of these centre-backs, Van Dijk and Rudiger, is to use them in this deal to try and get the value down. So I'm going to offer Van Dijk, as much as I would have liked to play with Van Dijk in the Dream Chasers kit, I'm going to offer Van Dijk in this with a transfer fee um they want his market value is 80 million but they asked for like 100 plus but i'm gonna go van dyke if he's 25 mil i'm gonna offer 65 on top of that yeah because that takes us to a, a healthy value for Gavardio. they might not even want van dyke but we're taking their center back we're gonna give them one in return let's submit the offer see what they say to that they're happy with Van Dyke, but they want us to put it up to 96 million in the money. Wow, that's a that's a big jump right there, yeah? I'm going to counter off of that new transfer fee, because 96, I feel like that's what we would have just paid for him anyway. Um, I'm going to put it down to 80, 80 mil. Will they accept that? 80 mil plus Van Dyke, I think that's nice. They want 96. Wow, they're really not budging on that. What the hell, lad? Um, okay, let's put it down to 85. I want to try and save as much money as possible because we are going to try and go in for Jude Bellingham too. So, 85. They've put it up to 93. That's cheeky. That They went from 92 to 93, didn't they? There? Or was it 96? I can't remember. Let's go. Last final time, 90. <laughs> 90 mil plus Van Dijk. That's, that's worth it, in my opinion. We'll take some time to think about it and accept, assess your offer. We'll come back to you soon with an answer. Goodbye for now. Okay, Leverkusen, take your time to consider and accept. Yeah. Um, as for the midfield position, yeah, there was a few options, not just Jude. We, of course, had. Um, let's go back here. Moretti has joined um, Arsenal now, so I'm going to remove him from the shortlist. He's gone to Arsenal, 86 overall. So we did have Musiala, 140 mil. Ravella, 107 mil. Enzo Fernandez, the cheaper side of things, um, 93 mil. And then Bellingham, they want 167 mil. That's going to be so tough to get Bellingham in, man. That really is. Wow, that's going to be so tough to get in. We're going to have to sell big, big players to try and get him. But wow, we can't even advance a day. We're straight into the preseason now. Let's jump into it. I'm actually going to play this game to give you some gameplay in the video. And I'm going to put it up to ultimate. We're going. To, somebody keeps saying, no, put it up to ultimate. Okay, we'll put it up to ultimate for this one uh, time, yeah? We'll see how ultimate feels. If it's tough, then we'll we'll have to put it back down because I'm not trying to play esports FIFA, yeah? I'm trying to play FIFA for the fun of it at the same time as, like, making it entertaining for you. So, 
Yeah, we're going to start Albert. We're going to start this team as our, like... This would be our team in the league, I guess. Maybe De Bruyne comes in off the bench. But this would be our team that we're starting with. We haven't decided on an official captain for the season yet, but Kowalczyk is taking the provisional captaincy for this season, boys. We haven't decided on the official club captain that will be announced when we get to the Premier League, yeah. But for the preseason, Kowalczyk is going to rock the armband. Let's jump into the game against Real Batis. A decent looking team there. Um, Suchek, captain in their team. Nice player. Let's jump into this. Our cameras on one man. Youth will have its say. What a day it is for the youngster as he's named in the starting lineup for the first time. What the hell are they EA talking TV. about? Are they the commentators are brain dead? Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, Rudiger's first involvement, a big header clearance. It's gonna be nice to see how Rudiger does feel in this game. New signings on the pitch. Another new signing there. Albert, a ball through into Vilk straight away. Arthur Vilk finding some space on the overlap. RDC overlap. Benzema getting in behind there, aka Albert. Oh, at least he knows the game plan, yeah, with the overlaps. Big interception, Inacio. Nicely played out there. Oh, nice press. Lee, why have you come that, that short? There we go. Ball into Morgan Lee. Into Barbosa. Can we get it back to Lee down the wing? Here's Lee, playing it through. Oh, what an interception, Teze. Here's Hashimoto over the top to Barbosa. Barbosa, can he touch it? Yes, he can. Barbosa, back from injury. Go on, son. What a tackle that is from Nelson. What the hell, bro? That should never have happened. In from behind. Big tackle there, Rebage. Back to his usual ways. Oh, a bad touch from Vilk. Come on. We've had nothing cooking this game. I don't know if it's the difficulty increase or just the fact that it's pre-season and whatnot, but let's go. Let's go. Here's Vilk. Looking over the top to Lee. Not good enough. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Big interception, Inacio. Inacio proving his worth. Even on ultimate difficulty, to be fair. But I think Inacio might have to be the guy that gets sold if we're going to go in for Jude Bellingham because he's the one that's going to cost over 100 mil. Oh, that's offside. Yeah, Inacio we can get over 100 mil for probably. So then that'll give us the money to go for Inacio. I mean, to go for Jude Bellingham. So, Inacio fans, would you rather see Inacio stay or would you rather have Jude Bellingham at the club? <laughs> like, that's the question you've got to ask yourselves. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Big tackle there from Mina. Mina's going by himself. Got some space. Vilk's running up inside. Vilk, the only man in the middle. Can we find him on the header? Oh, that's poor from me. I tried to whip it. But it's fell to Rabage. Gerard! Oh, big block. Nelson again. A lot of players in the box there. Big tackle from Rudiger. Well in, Rudiger. That's nice. That's quality. That's what we wanted to see from the new sign in there. And here we go, Albert, our first time really on the ball with him. Inside to Vilk. RDC overlap, Wilk to Barbosa. Oh, what a tackle this Nelson guy again, man. Absolutely throwing his body on the line here. Oh, Theon bin Meg there. Defensive breakdown. Keeper, that's all you. Big save on the rebound. Stupid, stupid goal to concede. Absolutely stupid goal to concede from me. Theon getting Meg there completely ruined us in the attack. I mean, in, in defence. Completely threw us off guard there. Switching up the formation for this second half, boys. We've put Albert on right wing. We've moved to the 4-3-3. Albert on right wing. Lee is playing Cam. Put Barbosa to the left wing and Wilk down the middle. So let's see how the 4-3-3 feels. I've also brought on De Bruyne. I can't remember if I said that. Brought on De Bruyne for Hashimoto. So let, let's see his first. Oh, De Bruyne is number 40. We need to change that. Number 40 does not look right. But here's Albert. Inside to Vilk. That's nice play. And here's Albert on his debut. On his debut. Yeah. Prince Albert. Let's go. Come on. What a player, man. What a player. That's a nice run there. That's a lovely one too. And Wilk on the assist. The 4-3-3 might be the way forward. We'll have to wait and see how he played for the rest of the game. But this might be the way forward now, boys. 4-3-3. Come on. Let's see how Barbosa does on the left wing too. I don't want to waste him this season, but... If we can score goals like that, it doesn't matter who gets wasted if we're still scoring. Oh, almost intercepted there by Albert. And there's De Bruyne with a big tackle as his first contribution for the club. Lovely. Headed on. 
to Barbosa. Barbosa looking to play through Lee. Lee down the middle. Let's see how he does. You've got numbers here. Oh, I tried to find the Bruyne. It's Lee still alive, though. Rabija tackled. Inacio, that's you. Gotta be you. Gotta be you, Inacio. It's gotta be you. And there's Lee. Into Vilk. A nice overlap and run, but nobody in the box there. Oh, just whipping it into no one. Oh. Oh, bloody hell. Kowalczyk. Made that look harder than it should have been. Nice. That's nice. Oh, do you see overlap? That was meant for Lee. But it's Barbosa trying to find Lee. Oh, Vil completely ruined the attack there. I just tapped Y to play through Morgan Lee on the uh, RDC overlap. And he gave the ball straight to the wing. Oh, that's annoying, but that was nice play. That's what we need to see more of. Oh, out of position there. You've been caught heavily. You've been caught heavily a big block in Asio. Ah, oh, this is tense on now that we're playing on Ultimate Boys and like... It's not as fun as it was, I can't lie to you, but we'll we'll stick with Ultimate for the preseason and see how it goes. De Bruyne is so slow. I know he's probably quality on the ball, but when he's chasing people down like that, we need Rage in there. Oh, how's that gone in? That's like a deflection. That's a joke, man. Let's get Tommy Bailey on. We've not seen Tommy Bailey for a while. Barbosa off the pitch. Tommy Bailey's coming on. Going to rotate a few. It's only preseason anyway, so Robin's going to play as well. And so is Juric. That's a joke. Let's do that again. Did that take a deflection or was it just a stupid goal that went in? Just a stupid goal that went in down the middle. Come on, Kowalczyk. Yeah. After last season's performances, bro, Kowalczyk, I was going to give him the captain's armband and he's he's just really good, but that's poor to concede that. Let's see if we can get anything cooking. Here's the Bryner. Into Albert. He gives it into to Vilk. Looking to find Albert. Back again. Oh, that was nice play. Here's Tommy Bailey back on the ball in a purple shirt for a long first time in a long time and a nice back heel to Robin who's played through Wilk. Tommy Bailey started the counter attack. There goes Wilk by himself one on one for the equaliser and he's missed it. Oh, the Wilk, what a save from the keeper. No way. Oh, come on, boys. Let's press. De Bruyne, well in. Into Albert. Can we get the cross in to Vilk? Oh, what a save again from the keeper. No way. Oh, come on, man. Big at there. Theon got to go forward. Christensen's got it. Play that forward, De Bruyne. Why would you not play that first time? Tommy Bailey and behind referee. You are horrible. Blowing the whistle there. A loss in our first game with the new signings and new formation. Not a good start, really, is it, boys? And we did up the difficulty. Was it that hard? No, it wasn't that much harder than World Class. I can't... Oh, Legendary. Whatever the one before it is. Legendary. It wasn't that much harder. It was just a lot less fun because we couldn't get the ball off them. Like, their attacks, we defended the same way. Going forward, we attacked the same way. And it still worked out. But, like, it was just... We couldn't get the ball off them, you know? So, um, anyway... What's the name? What are they called? We've just signed them off. Leverkusen have come back and they've accepted the deal for Gavardiol. We're paying 90 million plus Van Dyke. Goodbye, Van Dyke. Let's negotiate the wage and let's go in for this deal, man. Let's go. Gavardiol is joining the team. Inacio played great then, to be fair, but another centre back can't hurt us, you know? Another centre back. We've got five of them, but another one can't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> we've wanted this guy for like two or three seasons so it'll be nice to finally get him at the club high wage there but i'm sure he'll be worth it current wage is 93 grand i'm gonna offer 90 and see if the counter offer that hopefully that should be enough reasonable offer clients happy welcome to the club Gavardiol, big signing edson duarte he's going out on not even on loan we've just sold him actually for like 5.5 million i think it was to burnley goodbye edson duarte this is a sad one to say goodbye to he's been at our club in the youth academy since day one so goodbye to you edson duarte cutting ties there gotta be done sometimes yeah gotta pull the trigger sometimes and and say goodbye five mil to burnley i think we got 3.5 in the bank off it so yeah goodbye mates and there we go josco gavardio virgil van dyke plus 90 million that is a big boy purchase yeah, a big boy purchase. A C for his price rating. Good price. What are, what are you smoking at this club? Yeah, that's our highest rated centre-back. Going to be our best centre-back once we do play him. Let's go. 
Got a transfer offer for Brennan Johnson. Brighton have offered 50.9 million. Now that is a big offer, um, but the assistant guy, what is that called in the, the orange little ticker tape there? It's his assistant manager, right? I don't know, but, um, oh, Robin Chan. Do we send Robin? Nah, we're keeping Robin Chan. We need the subs. Yeah, rejecting that offer, keeping Robin Chan. Uh, as for Brennan Johnson, I'm going to delegate that. The assistant manager says we can get like by up like 70 mil for him. If we can get 70, that's big. Yeah, so let's go for 70 mil for Brennan Johnson, or 68, I should say. 68, that'll give us enough money to go in for Jude Bellingham, and we don't need Brennan Johnson. We're not going to use him this season, so that's okay by me. Next match is against Napoli. I'm going to play this again just to see what the squad's like. I need to get used to this team. Um, Kovrat Skelia obviously playing for Napoli, a player we did want to sign, and we couldn't sign him. Uh, they've got McTominay in the midfield there too. That's a weird player to have. But let's jump into it, man. Um, I think Wilk is a bit tired. Should we rotate the team? It's only pre-season anyway. Rudiger tired. Should we give a start? Gavardiol's tired. He's only just got here. Bloody hell. Was the plane trip that, that taxing on you? De Bruyne's gone down in one rating already. Kevin De Bruyne. So maybe De Bruyne just doesn't play. And he comes in off the bench if we need some quality. I don't know what to do with him this season. But Wilk tired. I don't even know what I'm talking about or what I'm doing. I'm going to start Tommy Bailey though. Theon's up to 85. What a guy. Starting Tommy Bailey, get his match sharpness back up. Let's start Robin actually this game. Um, and the rest of the players can stay as they are, yeah. Oh, Tommy Bailey. Love to see this guy back in Dream Chasers colours. He's looking to get off to an early start here against Napoli. Oh, he was on loan at Napoli actually last season, wasn't he? So he's back against his old team. Back with his old team against his old team. So oh, I can't wait for this game. Let's go. Nice Mina, big, big, big recovery tackle. And there's Albert. Wasn't really impressed with him first game. In fact, I was, to be fair. He made a good few runs here and there. And there's Barbosa. What the hell is that? Oh, what the hell is that, Barbosa, lad? It was so... Oh, that was such an easy pass. Come on, now. Don't tell me the injuries ruined Barbosa and he's just going to be trash now. There's Mina telling me what he thinks of Kvrat Skellia. And there's Albert for the long shot. Oh, I thought it was in. <laughs> Mina absolutely bodied Kvrat Skellia. Is it just me or has Albert got the same game face as Ansu Fati? I thought he looked familiar. He looks exactly like Ansu Fati's game face. I don't even know if they use real game faces on regen players. That would be mad if they did, but that looks like the same face as Ansu Fati right there. Me and a man of the match so far. I can't believe he just bodied Kivrat Skelly. gave him an injury. That's so funny. Imagine we wanted to sign him. Now and me and has just injured him. Hashimoto. Oh, you referee. That's what I thought, lad. Well, Centre-back's called Rizzo. Is that like Lizzo if he was skinny? Is Albert on the free kick? Can he get in the goal of the season compilation? No, he can't. It's past the post. Big tackle there from Rudiger. And here's the ball forward now. Barbosa to Robin. I forgot Robin was playing. You know, I was looking for Wilk in the, in the middle there, but he's not even on the pitch. And here's Barbosa. Oh, do you see overlap to Robin? Back inside, Barbosa was there, round the corner, we tried to thread the ball through, not good enough. Kivrat Skellia absolutely running the attack here for Napoli though, no wonder he didn't want to sell him. There's a Nassion missing a tackle, but Theon to the rescue. 85 rated Theon Greyjoy to the rescue, let's go. Oh, Kivrat Skellia, relax bro. Oi, relax. And across the touch line, so a throw in here. Hashimoto playing through Barbosa. A nice touch. Barbosa on the shot. What a block. Oh, come on. Come on. I just want to score. I just want to have fun. <laughs> Where's that going to? Easy for Theon. Into Bailey. Tommy Bailey is dribbling. Feels so good. You know, Tommy Bailey. And there he goes again. Bailey inside. Robin. Great pass. Robin. I don't know why I've shot there. I thought I was offside, if I'm honest. Wants to get the shot off early. Come on. Come on, boys. We're all over Napoli here. Ultimate difficulty or not. We are dominating. What is that? What is that? Has that stayed in, Tommy Bailey? That's you? Maybe not. McTominay winning. <laughs> just blasting the ball off his head. They must have had beef on the Napoli training ground or something. Why has McTominay just blasted the ball at him on the floor, lad? Well, then Inacio. Inacio's actually stepped up now that we're looking to sell him. Oh, what a turn from Barbosa. Can we get the ball over the top? That's perfect. So Robin. Oh, what a tackle from Rizzo. Again, we need to get that Lizzo regen sent off. 
Big out there. Benzema. Rebiger. Oh, lad. I just can't break down ultimate defence, lad. They just press you too high. Well in, Robin. That's huge. Robin. Over the top. Barbosa, Chester. Oh, come on. Come on. We're absolutely dominating, but we just can't get a sniff still. Is Albert inside Barbosa. One more to Robin. Look at this, lads. We just have no space, nowhere to go. Tommy Bailey, come here now. Yeah. Whipping that ball in. Barbosa! Oh, he loves an overhead kick. He's back to his old ways, Barbosa, but <laughs> I just couldn't make contact with it. Big head Rabiger. Oh, I mean Rudiger. That's going to confuse me now. Rudiger and Rabiger. Nice switch there to Tommy Bailey. Bailey. Nice run inside. Here we go. RDC overlap, kind of. Nice touch, Barbosa. Look at the speed of that defender, lads. What a strike from uh, Barbosa. But the, the 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 speed of the defenders is crazy. Yeah. Can't make it through anyway. Rudiger from the corner. Oh, never mind. Rabiger, that's you, big head. Well in. So look at the hustle there. He's played it back in. To Rabiger. Nobody gave him an option there. That's not Rab uh, Rudiger's fault. See what I mean? Rabiger and Rudiger, lad. That's going to get me every single time. To the last 30 minutes now, and he has options available. A really effective Big tackle from Mina. Let's go. And that's the left back out of position. That's a left back out of position. Mina, that's all you. I need the support in the middle, though. Here we go. Here's Robin, and he's played through Barbosa. But look at the defenders, he just closed it too quick, lad. Don't give me that space because I'll shoot. Easy save for Castiles. Well, come on, this is not good enough. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, whether it's the team or the, the difficulty or what. Rudiger's coming off. Why is he so tight as a centre-back? Gavardiol's making his debut. Yeah, let's get Gavardiol in there. Going to bring on Ono Masaki, play in for the preseason. I'm actually going to bring De Bruyne on in cam to see what that's like. Tommy Bailey can stay on, though, because he needs the match sharpness. Big head there, and here's De Bruyne. Playing through Barbosa. This is what we wanted. Here's Ono Masaki in off the bench. Ono Masaki, could he be the guy to open up the score? And again, I'm just hitting it from long range. I can't get past the defensive line. They get there. These are trash. These really are trash. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. I'm going to go for the long shot with De Bruyne, but he's too slow to get it off, for God's sake. I'm not going to run him back. He's way too slow for this team, I think. What a tackle, Theon. Our fullbacks are quality, you know. Here's Rabiger looking to find Theon. What a pass that is. Come on, keep that in, Theon. Keep running. Keep running. That's all you. You've got nobody there in support. Who's that? Oh, no, Masaki at the back post. Win that, De Bruyne. Oh, De Bruyne. Stop being so trash. I thought he would have been a gem of a free agent to pick up, you know, or from the pre-contract agreements, whatever you want to call it. But he's trash. Well, in Anasio. And again, Tommy Bailey. Here's your chance, De Bruyne. Show us what you're made of. Tommy Bailey, in behind. In behind his old team. He's got the ball. He's kept it alive. Back to Barbosa! What a save, Castiles! No way! Oh, come on, man. These keepers are ridiculous. Yeah? Oh! Mina going for an overhead kick from the corner. <laughs> Theon, this is you. It's got to be. You've got to win that. Easy. What the hell was that for a pass? That's crazy. That was crazy. Kvratskelia, big tackle Mina, he's still got it though, back out there, oh no, support, well in Gavardiol, Gavardiol, I forgot we brought him on, but a big interception there is his first touch, that's what we love, that's what we love, De Bruyne, just can't find any space lad, who wanted me to play on ultimate, is this fun to watch, because it's not fun for me to play, Gonzalo Getsch, Gonzalo Montiel, no, McTominay's not scoring. That's what I thought. Here's De Bruyne again. Nice. Tommy Bailey out wide. He's on his last legs now, Tommy Bailey, though. Back into De Bruyne. If anyone can find a pass, it's De Bruyne. And he's found Tommy Bailey out wide. That's actually nice. That's actually nice. Tommy Bailey. A little one in. Barbosa. Oh, come on. Bailey, keep it alive. And here's De Bruyne on the edge. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Lad. Oh, De Bruyne. Maybe that was not the purchase. Maybe... De Bruyne is the one that sits out. 
and plays maybe cup games. You know, if we sign Bellingham, it's Hashimoto and Rabija as our centre midfielders, bro. With Bellingham coming in, maybe, and then De Bruyne is the one that sits out because that he stunk in that preseason tournament. Kuvrat Skelly has to miss five days after that injury sustained from Mina. Wow. Oh, <laughs> imagine we actually did sign him now, like after that game. <laughs> and he was he just came to the club injured, couldn't even play the next game. But we are playing Bayer Leverkusen next, which is ironic because we've just signed their star centre-back from them. Um, so let's advance a few days. It looks like Rudiger, uh, one sec, it looks like Rudiger is going to have to get rotated a lot this season because look at that, his stamina must be slacking. He's only got 68 stamina, Rudiger. Bloody hell, maybe we should have sold him and not Van Dijk, lad. But anyway, Rudiger, maybe he's our backup and Gavardiol and, and Inacio is our starting pair for this season. But then I don't even know why we've got Rudiger as a backup. I would rather use Shin Meyer as the backup centre-back. I can't lie to you. That's me being completely honest. I would rather use Shin Meyer as the backup, even though Rudiger was really good there. But maybe we can use them both, just rotate. We'll see how the season goes anyway, innit? But we do have uh, Brighton. Brighton are willing to pay 71.4 million for Brennan Johnson. Now, I know Brennan was a, had a lot of fans. He wasn't that good, though. Would I pay 71 million for Brennan Johnson off the market? Absolutely not. So would I sell him for 71 million? Absolutely. Let's go. 71 million is huge. We're selling Brennan Johnson. We've got another transfer offer for uh, Andreas from Olympic Lyon. They are matching that offer that we did suggest of 40 million. 41 million for Andreas. We're saying goodbye to two big players here in Andreas and Brennan Johnson. Both goodbye we have backups for years we don't need just no more that is huge to get that money in there yeah that money's going to help us so much in this season so let's advance to the final game of uh, the preseason tournament it's going to be against Bayer Leverkusen we've got a transfer offer for Canales in here as well from Napoli 25 mil oh yo I forgot about Canales lad I forgot about Canales that really throws a spanner in the works bro so Inacio Gavardio Rudiger Meyer. Canales, oh, Billy Keynes as well, who we're trying to loan out. Etho too in there. Yo, this our team is too stacked at the minute. It's too stacked. For this one, I'm going to use the 4-3-3 formation now. Uh, Barbosa tired, so we're going to put in, in Cam, we're going to play Lee. And Tommy Bailey gets another start, even though he's looking tired. Um, and Ono again on the bench for this one. We do have Ono, Mayer, Billy Keynes on the loan list. So, in fact, you know what? Let's bring on Billy Keynes instead of De Bruyne onto the bench. And we can start Billy Keynes over Rebiger. Because why not? There's no rules. Let's give these youth players a better chance in the preseason tournament. Gavardio's also going to start over Rudiger. I forgot about that. So that's how we line up for the final game of the preseasons. I don't care about the, the result of it. Yeah, because we are just looking to use players that we don't normally use. But let's try Lee down the middle. Wilk up front. Albert and Bailey on the wings. Let's go into that. And let's see how Billy Keynes feels our first time using him after loan. He was quality before he went out. So let's see how he feels now. Let me know in the comments, boys, as well, what you think of the old kit being back. He is glad to see this purple and blue kit back. It does have a real nostalgic feel to it. And there's Billy Keynes with an interception on his first touch back in the club. You'll love to see it. Is Albers looking for the ball over the top. He's found Vilk to open the score and let's go. Yeah, maybe the 4-3-3 is the one that we need to use this season with the new fast-paced right winger that we've got him. It really worked well last season because we had Ono Masaki who didn't have pace. He wanted the ball to feet so we could play through other people. But now we've got a guy who, who has pace. Maybe we need to push him further up the pitch, you know? Let's, uh, let's go. That's huge. His first touch feels like a cheat code. It's literally like a pace boost. Like, oh, uh, Albert, you see him behind. Has he got the pace to beat the defender? And drag it back in to somebody. Lee, was that? That was Morgan Lee. In a great position in the box there. This feels good, this formation in this team right now. Oh, big tackle, Billy Keynes. Playing through Vilk. Just couldn't get the shot off, but that was nice. Hey, boys, you know what? I might just disregard all this stuff about loaning people out and stuff and try and get the rating over 84 because ratings don't matter. It's how they feel in game. People like Billy Keynes on Omasaki, they are quality regardless of the ratings. Look at that again. Billy Keynes causing problems, just getting in the way. Like, this team... And even De Bruyne is 86 overall, but he stunk. Do you know what I mean? So it's... it's one of, Let me defend this, actually, before I say anything. Oh, Theon, get up. Billy Keynes, get to it. Gavardiol, big block. Let's go. Gavardiol, welcome to the team, yeah? Yeah, I'm so happy to have him here, finally, after, like, five seasons of talking about his name. Oh, get that out. What are you doing over there? 
Yeah, dangerous areas to play with the ball in. Here's Tommy Bailey, though. Oh, well, that's stupid. Oh, that's a nice run. Big save from the keeper. That's stupid. That's twice in pre-season we've conceded a goal like that. Jalen Ramsey. Not Jalen. I say Jalen every single time. Jacob Ramsey. Stupid. Stupid goal to concede. Come ahead, Albert. Just run it, Albert. This is what we do. Look at that. Cheat code. Nobody in the middle for me. Don't even need no one in the middle. Cheat code. Ah. Oh. Hmm. 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 Here we go, Cairns, Bailey. Oh, Tommy Bailey! Yeah, no off the post. Oh, I was, lad, I was going to celebrate that goal like we just won the Champions League, you know. Lad, I was going to take me top off and run down the street, bro. I swear, Dan. Oh, Tommy Bailey, lad. Lad, he's so good, Tommy Bailey. You know, his dribbling's quality, his movement is just insane. This guy is so good. I'm so happy to have him back now after his loan. understanding of the role has been excellent. He's certainly shown his versatility. Big block of audio again. Brick shithouse. That's the requirements, yeah. When we put out the job application, that is the requirements. You've got to be a brick shithouse to play for the, the Dream Chasers. It's a requirement. Well, in Billy Cairns again. You see what I'm saying, boys? This is it. On Ultimate 2, these players are doing it. And there's Lee over the top. And there's Wilk. We do have a man on the... We do have a man. We do have a man. What a save. <laughs> Keeper got a hand to it, but we scored it still. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. We might have found our new formation, our new setup right here. Obviously, Barbosa will more likely play over Tommy Bailey. Or does Barbosa play as a backup striker on the bench? Like, I don't know what to do with this team. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now that we're actually seeing some gameplay, like, it's all good to just discuss who plays where and whatnot. But now that you're actually seeing some gameplay... Let me know what you think about how the team's playing, boys. Do we give Billy Cairns and Tommy Bailey more game time? Even over people like Barbosa and De Bruyne? It's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see, boys. But Tommy Bailey's... I mean, Billy Cairns, look at his stats there. All over 70. That's quality. Yeah, this guy is good. He is the English Hullet. Come on. And you know we love to make players from different nations. We have the Japanese Gerard, English Hullet. Tommy Bailey is what the English Sadio Mane. <laughs> I don't know about that one, like, but <laughs> that's offside, ref. Gotta be offside. What a save, Kowalczyk. That's huge. I thought that was way offside there. Oh, Cavardio quality. Let's go. Let's go. Big tackle, Theon. Oh, mate, he's so good. He just is so good. And here's Hashimoto. And we've played through Albert again. Albert for two. And a lovely finish. This guy's movement's insane. He is one of the world's best for a reason. This guy, new signing, Albert, quality player. Or Albert, if you want to be French. I don't care. Yeah? Albert, I don't care. <laughs> yeah? Okay, let's go. This guy is the future. Yeah? This guy is the future. Oh, there's a goal back. I thought I'd read that with Gavardio and jumped the passing lane in time, but it just wasn't quick enough. That's unlucky. Let's go. We need one more here. Comfort. This is a high scoring game, this boy as well. Here's Bailey. Bailey into Cairns. I always think Cairns is Wilk. They have the same build, same haircut, and same boots. Oh, Wilk, you've got to find that pass through there. That's not good enough. He's coming off the pitch for that. Let's get Barbosa on in striker. In fact, he's tired, so let's not do that. Um, let's give Hashimoto a rest for... Juric. Do we just bring on Juric and Rebic, yeah? Rotate the midfield, because Cairns is tired, but I want to give him a full 90. Yeah, I'm giving Cairns a full 90, same with Tommy Bailey, because they need that much sharpness back up. Big get Gavardi, I'll get it out, Cairns, well in. And there's Bailey, starting the counter-attack now. Tommy Bailey, starting the counter-attack now. And he's leading it by himself. Come here, boys, get forward. I need some support. No, I don't need support. Tommy Bailey! Oh, what a block. Should have used the support. <laughs> Thought I could go by myself. 
Oh, that's a nice ball through. Inacio has got the pace to keep up with it, though. Inacio Gavardiol, I'm actually enjoying this partnership right now. As much as I love Canales and Shin Meyer, maybe that's who we should have played in this preseason game, actually, Canales and Meyer. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far. Oh, bad communication there by the, the two attackers. Easy does it. Billy Kearns to Bailey. To Morgan Lee is Hashimoto on the overlap. And Hashimoto, look at the space he's found. He's running out of stamina. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, lad, he just ran out of pace there. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Well, tackle Mina, get in there, Nacio. Well in. Big tackle or a big turn from Albert, but miscommunication again. A lot of miscommunications here in this team. They need to build up that chemistry before we get to the league. We can't be making mistakes like this in the league. Oh, Luckman, the ball's back in. Stupid, stupid, stupid from me, yeah? Hashimoto finally off the pitch. Keep us up. Can we win our first game of the preseason tournament? Get it out, Billy Cairns. Big head. Danger's still alive. Danger still alive. Don't let Richarlison score. I thought that went in, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. We've won 3 2, though. What a win that was, then. Um, yeah, man. That man right there, Albert Quality. That is. Wow. That guy's insane. I really enjoyed how the team played that game. So it's definitely a lot of food for thought in terms of how we go forward this season with the personnel. It's tough, man. It's so tough on who to sign, who to. I mean, uh, who to play where and stuff. It's, it's really tough. Brennan Johnson, there he goes. He put in a shift for this club, but he's going to facilitate growth in our club now that he's leaving with a big price tag, yeah? 71.9 million, was it? 71.4. That is a big boy price tag. So I'm sure even fans of Brennan Johnson can't be mad with that. That is a big boy purchase right there for, uh, what do they call Brighton? Yeah, huge player to, or huge price tag to put on a player like that. We get 60.5 million added to our transfer budget. We're going to also going to sell Fabrizio Cabrera for 3.1 million. That's nice. This uh, Canales transfer offer, I'm still considering. I don't know what to do here now that we have four centre-backs, basically, that we can play. Or five, is it still? Gavardiol, Inacio, Rudiger, Meyer, Canales. We have five centre-backs. We don't need five. Do we accept that offer and get rid of Canales? Canales is the last person I saw going from this club, but it might happen. We've got this guy in the Youth Academy, by the way, boys. I wanted to highlight this guy, David Zimmerman. Yeah, not a fan of the second name, but super potential, 87 to 93. Great overall, 65 at 15 years old. This is a winger for the future. I'm actually going to end this episode here, boys. I'm not even going to advance any more today because I want you to drop comments. What should we do with Canales? Should we accept that offer? I think it was, um, what was it, 25 million? Yeah, you can see there, 25.5 million for Canales do we cut ties with Canales now that we have five centre-backs at the club that we don't need five we are trying to loan out uh, Shin Meyer. him and Ono Masaki and Billy Keynes have all been added to the, uh, the loan list but nobody's come in for them yet uh, which is like I mentioned in the first episode of the season we can try and we can contemplate selling and loaning out players and we can have that in our head it's whether it actually happens though is a different question so, um, yeah, let me know what you think about the centre-back situation. Who should we play with? Rudiger's just lost an overall as well. That's Maybe we shouldn't have even gone with these free agents, boys, because Rudiger's just lost an overall in this episode. So has Kevin De Bruyne. So do we stick with our faithful guys, Rabiger, Hashimoto as our main two? Sign Bellingham. Next episode, we will try and go for Bellingham, by the way, because as you can see now in the finances, 100 million. Yeah, we can store, sort and try and make a move now for Bellingham. It might work, it might not. Find out in the next episode. We play Man City in the Community Shield. It's the first game, by the way, of the proper season. So if we could sign Bellingham before that, it would be huge. But, yeah, a lot to discuss, a lot to think about, boys. Like, my head's gone. Hopefully yours is as as a crowd member. Hopefully your head's gone too. In fact, hopefully it's not. I just didn't want to be alone. But hopefully yous are, like, grounded. Mina's up to 88, by the way. I can't wait to have a break of, from recording after this because as you might be able to tell, my head's all over the place. This has probably been the messiest two episodes of career mode or just of anything that I've ever recorded. So I apologize for how messy it has been and how all over the place my head's been. But like I say, hopefully you are following along still with what I need help on and you can help me in the comments and I will go through them in the next episode where we will try and get Bellingham, play Man City and sort out the centre-back situation. I appreciate everyone watching this far in this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch us next time. Take it easy, man. Fucking hell. <laughs>